Western Mass News is your election authority and not all students were off on this election day as there were classes held at Mater de la Rosa School in Holyoke. And one teacher took it upon himself to let his students see what it's like to fill out ballots. Western Mass News reporter Matt Price shares their experience. Yeah, Alaska's first. A lot going on in Alaska, right? We had the dynasty, we had Sarah Palin. It was an election day preview for students in grades 5 through 8 at Mata Dolorosa School. For history teacher Eric Wood, he spent the last week plus giving his pupils an idea of how voting works, as well as exposing them to both Massachusetts races and others nationwide. I want to teach them the process of voting, especially our 7th and 8th graders. It's weird to think they're four or five years away from voting, and they don't just wake up when they're 18 and know how to vote. So I want to teach them the process, but without getting too political, I also want to teach them things that are important. There were two halves to this mock election project. First, each student was assigned either a Massachusetts race or a race from another state. Some students spoke with Western Mass News about what they learned from that assignment. I had the Alaska District 1 and I took away from it um, about the different types of like races and from all around Alaska with Alaska District 1. I, the candidates were John Calabri, or John Vellis and Cecilia Calabrese. What I really took away was that it was going to be a pretty tight race, and it was kind of interesting to watch it live when I went on the websites and stuff. The second part of the project included students filling out mock ballots where they decided who they would vote for and who they think would win each race. It's a pre preparation for when we turn 18 and we're just going to be walking into either a gymnasium or a uh, uh, a city hall and voting for a Senate slash mayor slash governor. Students took their ballots and made their decisions in already set up partitions. While students did not reveal who they chose, some say it was a good experience to get that early feel of voting. It was fun. It was just the first time we've done it before and I've never actually got the experience to vote before. When I went this morning with my mom to vote um, at Ian White, uh, it's like kind of the same thing. So it's like cool experiencing it yourself and like picking who you want to vote for out of the 17 and like not only being Massachusetts, but like other states in the country. So what is the election takeaway for students? Vote for who you think will do well in the, you know, do well leading, good, leading the world and stuff like that. As for Wood, he hopes his students have learned a valuable lesson. Politics can be part of current history right now. And then, uh, you know, politically, I just want them to take out the basics, that they know there are political parties, they know what the parties pretty much do. Wood plans to continue doing this project in future years to get students ready to participate in a democratic process. In Holyoke, Matt Price, Western Mass News. Western Mass News is your election authority. From the ballot questions to who's running and candidate debates, we have you covered. Scan the QR code or open up the Western Mass News app to check out our online voter's guide and stay with us throughout this evening for the latest election results.